When we get to geometry in fourth grade, it involves a lot of vocabulary work and being able to apply this vocabulary to shapes, being able to draw the specific vocabulary. So we're going to go through some vocab words that students will be familiar with. They're going to continue identifying and be able to draw. So the first vocabulary word is a point. So a point is an exact location in space have your point and normally your points have a letter name associated with it so I could call this point C. You see points on shapes, you can see points on graphs and on some other things we'll talk about as we continue. So our next vocabulary word is line segment. So a line segment is a section of a line bounded by two endpoints. So again we're going to take that word we just worked on, points. We're going to have two points We'll call this point A, we'll call this point B. And then in the middle you're gonna have a line. So my line is bounded by our two endpoints. It does not extend beyond the endpoints, it's just a section. Our next vocab word is a line. So a line is a straight path that extends in both directions without an end. So it infinitely extends. What you're going to notice that's different about this specific line versus the line segment, the end instead of points there are arrows. So both sides of the line goes on forever. Even if I have points in between, that's not the end. It's going to continue going. This We could call this the line segment, but the actual line itself is going to go on forever and ever. Our next vocabulary word is a ray. So a ray is a straight path that extends infinitely from a point called the vertex. So on one end of this ray, you're going to have a point, and this is called our vertex. The other side, you're going to have a line, and remember this arrow signifies it goes on forever and ever. So one end is the point, and we call this point our vertex. The other end is our line that will continue to extend. All right, and our next vocabulary word is angle. So an angle is a figure formed by two rays with a common endpoint called its vertex. So again, we know a ray starts at one end with our point and we're going to call that the vertex. So they have a common endpoint, which means if one goes in that direction, the other is going to go in that direction. This common point right here is going to be called our vertex and that is what makes our angle. Some other vocabulary words that students will be working with um, involve identifying different attributes on shapes. So, one vocab word is parallel lines. So parallel lines are lines that are always the same distance apart and never meet or cross. If we look at our trapezoid, the lines on the top and the lines on the bottom are the same distance apart and they will never touch. If they continued to go on forever, they will never intersect or cross. So those are our parallel lines. Next is perpendicular lines. So perpendicular lines are lines that meet at right angles. So remember, our right angle makes that perfect corner, and that is where we have our 90 degree angles. So even on this vocab card, we have a set of perpendicular lines. This corner right here meets at a right angle. So it's this corner and the opposite two corners that we can say this card is a rectangle. Um, rectangles and squares um, have four right angles. These angles that make the lines that make the right angles are perpendicular because as they touch, they create that right angle. 
Students will also take angles and they will talk about three different types. So we have acute angles. Acute angles are any angles that measure less than 90 degrees. If I look at our parallelogram, these two opposite shape, opposite angles, excuse me, are acute because they are less than that corner, that 90 degree measurement. The next type of angle is an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is any angle measuring between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So we want it to be bigger than that corner, that 90 degree angle, but not exactly a straight line. So again, we can use the same shape we just looked at. And we have these two opposite angles now. I know I have my corner, my benchmark, that would be 90 degrees. It goes beyond that 90 degrees, but it's not exactly a straight line. So this specific parallelogram has two acute angles and two obtuse angles. And that's kind of what we would want the students to be able to identify when looking at these shapes. I can take a another shape and I can again try and identify the angles on this shape. If I rotate my shape, I can identify an obtuse angle. I can identify how many sides the shape has. So again, taking that specific vocab and then applying it to shapes and being able to identify those attributes on those specific shapes.